Hello and welcome to this course on data structures. So in this course basically we will be covering the different types of data structures. So um, I'll try to keep the courses pretty short. We will be covering uh, different types like stacks, queues, linked lists, etc. And more importantly we will be covering the concept. Uh, we'll try to um, cover a short algorithm and then basically try to code it. So more importantly, I would be using the c .NET language. Um, so you could use any language of your choice um, since the algorithm remains pretty much the same. So let's start off with the very basic introduction. So the first thing would be what are actually data structures, calling it as DS just for this short form. So data structures are a way of organizing your data, right? So having said that, the next question that would come to your mind is why is it so important to organize the data? Right. So we do make applications, right, which store, which need uh, data to be stored and basically certain operations to be performed on that data. Right. For example, say search. So basically here an important considerations would be the performance. Right? What our algorithm, how it performs, has a huge dependency on what type of data structure we choose in order to store our data and organize our data. So basically the next question would, that would like come to your mind is, okay, we do have certain things like say arrays or say lists, right? Then why do we actually need some specialized data structures? Why do we need to make them? So um, if you are considering data, which is huge, right? And you need to do some search operations on it. This won't be a good approach, right? Randomly just choosing uh, some, some data structure wouldn't be that good, right? So you need to first evaluate the performance of, suppose you, if you use certain data structures, how good or how bad is it going to affect the application? So in order to evaluate performance, there are many methods, right? Many notations are there, which we would be covering up um, in our later sessions. So just to give you a brief intro, there are many notations like big O and basically we, we actually rate it in terms of order of N squared, order of N, etc. So for now, don't worry about it. Uh, we would definitely be covering in uh, later sessions. So basically in order to organize our data, more importantly, we would be talking about something called as stacks and of course queues. So um, these two data structure depend, just differs in a way of how data is enter and data enters and leaves these data structures, right? There are particular orders in which data has to go in, particular order in which data has to come out. So we'll come across terms like first in, first out, or last in, first out, etc. So we would, we'll be looking at these data structures. We'll be going in more detail and basically try to write a short code uh, in, in, as an example, just to make things more clear. So once we cover these concepts, then basically we will have to talk about something called as trees, right? So we'll try to cover binary trees. And apart from that, we would also be covering linked lists. So here you would often find terms like NQing, DQing, etc., and so on and so forth. So we'll look at all these in great details. And last but not the least, we would be definitely covering graphs. Right. An example would be maps. Okay. So these are some of the basic things that we will be covering in our course of data structures and um, Probably after this, then we'll go towards more other techniques of sorting, etc. Right? See you in the next session.